Hey gang, and Velvet here once again with my special guest, that is Pumpkin, who is not aptly named because Pumpkin is really an attack animal. Uh, another in the series of <laughs> tips for homeowners, because uh, uh, as Aunt Velvet likes to say, OMG, seriously, could have you had told me that you had a violent animal in your house? So this kitty cat, according to the owner, when I first came to meet the household, was hissing and clawing at me and etc. Owner said, oh yeah, I don't know, that's kind of how Pumpkin is. And Pumpkin was a feral kitty that was rescued, I guess. I'm not sure how old Pumpkin was. I think Pumpkin's about a year and a half now. So I came here and Pumpkin's litter box was in a disgustingly horrible condition. So that would piss me off. <laughs> so I cleaned that up, bought Pumpkin a new litter box. It has a lid so that the litter's not going everywhere, etc., etc. And some toys. There they are. Look at that. Does Pumpkin have any interest in them? Definitely not. So I think this poor kitty doesn't know what play is. There were no other items in the house for Pumpkin to be distracted with. And basically Pumpkin's behavior is such that he tends to slide along the walls, I'm assuming for a feeling of protection. And if you walk by, he's hissing and clawing at you and et cetera, et cetera. So a very frightened, traumatized kitty if anybody has any suggestions about how to teach this cat to play, let me know. I have balled up pieces of paper and sat for an hour throwing the paper. He'll lunge at it for a second and then he's gone again. So I don't know if the cat has brain damage. I mean, seriously, I've wondered, like, what could be wrong with this cat other than massive amounts of anxiety. I don't know what to do about it. So doing my best to love up the kitty. There's the bag I started with. I thought, okay, cats like to play with bags. Nope, not this kitty. So anyway, uh, let's see if we can get Pumpkin to come back. Pumpkin, he will now come when I call him. Come on, Pumpkin. Come see me. Come on. Pumpkin. Mostly what he really wants to do is go outside and kill birds and things, which I get. I think Pumpkin is a quintessential predator, not prone to being inside. And, you know, humans, we think we're doing a good thing when we, quote unquote, rescue cats or people, as the case may be. And you know what? Most of the time, not so much. All right, gang. Well, we'll try to give you the updates on Pumpkin. Thanks for watching. And drop some comments. Let me know what you think. Why does the cat not know how to play? And how would one change that situation if it's possible. All right, toodles. Catch you next time. Thanks, everybody.